ready to see a picture book illustration getting colored, then this is a video you need to check out. Hello everyone, it's me, your old pal Max West. I draw children's picture books and comics. And now, after penciling and inking this page for my next children's book, Hilda and Richie, Hilda and Richie's Wizard, which will be on Kickstarter in January, I'm going to work on the colors. I've already erased the pencil lines. I've masked in areas of black. I'm going to start by coloring the interior here of Richie's ears, and for that I use pink colored pencil. There we go. All right. I'm going to color this in first. We're going to start with Richie's stuffed bunny there. That gets colored a light blue. Somehow, the wizard that appears in the title has ended up in Richie's bedroom at night. He doesn't look too friendly. But believe me, he isn't a villain. Of course, you'll have to read the uh, book to understand the context of all this. All right. Let's get the bunny colored in. Since I have a, a background in drawing comics, that makes me perfect for children's books. Because I draw in a humorous manner, and my style quickly communicates on the page. Therefore, I am perfect for this line of work. And it is important for children to know how to read. That can often determine their academic success later on in life going into high school and universities or trade school or whatever career route they choose. Yeah, but that's a whole other video. Alright, let's get Richie colored in here. Now I'm going to use orange as he is a red fox. That, between the light blue of his bunny and the blue of his uh, blanket there, it's going to make a nice contrast. Blue and or orange are considered complementary colors. They're their opposites on the color wheel. Yeah, you'll have to read up on color theory to understand that, as that's a whole other video in and of itself. We go the page is partially colored I mean, yeah look at that it's already starting to look like something I mean just look at the light blue there of Richie's stuffed bunny and the orange of his fur all right moving on here let's color in that blue blanket of his This, this marker has just about had it. Looks like I'm going to have to swap it out. <laughs> Good thing, yes, before, before I started work here, I did load up on, um, on markers. I've gone through quite a few of them already. almost dried out as I've used up all the almost all the ink. 
Only after this page I'll need to discard this marker and switch to another blue marker of mine. Alright. Yeah, this marker's pretty much had it. Just a second here while I grab a fresh blue marker. This one, I'm going to continue with a color called Sapphire Blue. It's dark blue as well. It's going to be used for coloring Richie's pajamas. In, few, in, the, in the next few um, drawings I do, Richie gets blue, Hilda gets pink, and the wizard gets purple. That's the standard color coding I'm using in this book. There we go. Uh, pretty neat effect there. Let's step back here and see how it looks from your point of view, you viewers out there. Yeah, that's looking really snappy there. All that we got left to do now is the wizard. So I'm going to use some neutral gray 3 here for his fur. A fur. Alright, let's get you colored in there. Some people prefer Copic markers. They're Japanese made markers that are very popular with manga and anime artists. They're very expensive, but unlike other markers, they're refillable and have replaceable nibs. So pretty much they can, uh, they can last indefinitely if you take care of them and are willing to invest the money. Yeah, I'm not I'm not going to be doing that right now. I'm sticking with these alcohol markers I get at Hobby Lobby or Michael's. Maybe someday, if I really hit it big, I'll invest in Copix. Using markers, you can work quickly with them. All right, and there we got the wizard in. And yes, I have extra purple markers for when this dries out and runs out of ink. Now let's do the wizard here. Do his purple pointy hat. Been done. All right. Let's get the rest of this. After I finish, I'm going to be ending this video as I will be doing a few more things. I'm going to be doing a little bit of retouching and adding some shading. But this image is all pretty much done once I finish the wizard's robe here. And there we go. That, boys and girls, is how you color in 
the illustration on a picture book page. Take one more look here, and I think we'll call it a day. That's it for today's video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos. The Kickstarter for Hilda and Richie's Wizard launches January 5th, 2022. If you want to know more about these characters, just check the links below. And if you want to buy their first book, Hilda and Richie, just follow the links below in the description. Until next time, everyone, this is me, your old pal Max West, saying goodbye.